It is 548 on this Monday morning. It is a lot chillier as you head out the door than say it has been these last few mornings. Yeah, you may need a sweater tomorrow. You'll need more than that. Let's check in. Meteorologist John Nodar with details. You bet. And even today, uh, that, that sweater may not do it with the wind. I'm telling you, the wind's just going to cut right through there. So maybe a jacket to get you out the door today and an even thicker jacket tomorrow as we open up with these forecast headlines. Sunshine, breezy, a dry, cool pattern that lasts over the next several days. It will be warming at least a little bit each day. Here's the way it looks right now. A nice view out of our camera on Broadcast Drive. This is Midtown Mobile seen from the Alpha Camera Network and we await a lovely sunrise with not a cloud in the sky. Temperatures are 30s in Groveville, but 40s everywhere else. Very little uh, variety on the temperature map today. A lot of mid 40s out there. It has to do with the wind. The wind is just kind of mixing the air and keeping things fairly consistent across the board. The temperatures this afternoon will be a little bit cooler to the north, a little bit warmer to the south, but everybody uh, ends up in the 50s, low 50s in Grove Hill, Calvert, Monroeville, Evergreen, Leakesville, all around 53 degrees. And then you get down here close to the coast, 56 in Mobile and Gulf Shores, 54 in Pensacola, 53 in Navarre and Destin. And then tonight, it is going to be downright freezing cold in some spots. 29 Leakesville and Grove Hill and Evergreen, 30 in Calvert and Jay and Crestview. Then you get down here closer to the coast, you get to tack on a couple of degrees, 33 in Mobile, above freezing south of I-10. But it is going to be considerably colder tonight than it was, well, last night and this morning. We start off chilly, we end up cool, let's call it, 55, but with a fairly brisk northwest wind, it's going to feel cooler still. Here's the way it looks right now on the radar. Not a drop of rain. It is uh, very dry out there as well. Not just no rain, but no humidity either. The dew points are in the 30s, even a 29 degree dew point in Evergreen. That is really dry. You probably will notice a little static electricity when you comb your hair or if you do pull on a sweater or some thermal underwear this morning, you might, uh, might get a little shock. Here's the satellite for the tropics, and I just thought I'd show it to you one more time. You can say goodbye to it, at least uh, for most of the next several months. You're looking at uh, the end of hurricane season that was on November 30th. So that was over the weekend. Nothing going on in the tropics, the Atlantic, the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico. So we're going to kind of uh, pack this uh, view away for a little while unless something pops up and surprises us. News 5's free weather app is out there for you. We'll always keep you up to speed on the tropics and everything else here with uh, the next few days really being quiet and chilly with overnight lows dipping down near freezing tonight and below freezing north of I-10. And then you got uh, 50s on Tuesday with sunshine. Wednesday and Thursday, we're back in the 60s. Probably we'll see some 70s for the weekend. Uh, with some rain on Friday, it may start Thursday night after midnight. Thursday night, Friday, and Friday night, rain and some thunderstorms are a possibility.